It's all there in the Gospels. The Magdalene girl comes to pay her respects. But her mind is a world. Here's the deal. I have one big activity, and that is to pick a show. And that is an act of falling in love. And if I don't fall in love, I don't do it. Sting had an idea. It had to do with ship workers and a musical. And that conversation has brought all of us here today. The angels protect me if all else should fail and the last ship sinks. I was born and raised in a shipyard town in the northeast of England. In the shadow of a shipyard, actually. My earliest memories are of giant ships at the end of the street, some of the biggest ships ever constructed in the world. I watched thousands of men go to work every morning. I watched them come back. I'd wondered if that was my destiny. My destiny was something else. I became a songwriter. I decided it was time in my life to honor the community I came from and give those men and women voices, songs, speaking through their mouths, seeing through their eyes, telling their story their hardships, their hopes, their dreams, their passions. It's called The Last Ship. For the only life we've known is in the shipyard. A fantastic creative team includes director Joe Mantello and book writers Brian Yorkey, John Logan, with choreography by Stephen Hoggart. In the process of falling in love with the show, Sting sent me a demo uh, of a song called Shipyard in which all of the different workers introduce themselves and talk about what they do in the yard so passionately. And it was when I heard Shipyard for the first time, I knew that this man could write a musical and I fell in love with those characters. There's a house on the hill that's come up for sale. It's a place I've known since I was a lad. And it needs a lick of paint and a hammer and a nail But it's part of a boyhood dream I've always had When you write someone else's story, all, all the, your skill sets as a songwriter can come to the fore without feeling self-conscious. He said, you see these work boots in my hands? They probably fit you now, my son. Take them, they're a gift from me. Why don't you try them on? It would do your old man good to see you walking in these boots one day and take your place among the men who work upon the slipway these dead man's boots though they're old and curled when a fella needs a job and a place in the world and it's time for a man to put down roots and walk to the river in his old man's boots this is a show about working class people about people who live for their town and die for their town and don't give up. What do you got? What do you got? What do we got? We got no. We got no else. Hey, what do you got? What do we got? What do you got? What do we got? We got no. We got no. It made perfect sense that a show that celebrates these kinds of workers would come to a city as vital and as vibrant as Chicago. I've been playing in Chicago since 1979. I've played just about everywhere from Soldier Field way on down to tiny clubs. And it's never struck me as being out of town. <laughs> it struck me always as being town. So here we are. Oh, the roar of the chains and the cracking of timbers. The noise at the end of the world in your ears As a mountain of steel makes its way to the sea And the last ship sails